This is the main event final table of the No Limit Pub Poker Tour. We have three former main event champions in seat one, our, one of our chip leaders, Daniel Rogers. He won back-to-back -back main events in the Treasure Coast. He's, uh, he's sitting in seat one, representing the Treasure Coast. Uh, in seat two, we have Millhouse, uh, plays at Lombardi's and Sunrise. He's a Broward player. He also has 500,000 in chips, a newer player to our league. In, in our third position is Jimmy Stolbarger. He is uh, our top gun, our top gun from Broward County. He's also from Sunrise, same area. He's sitting on 240,000 in chips. Seat four, we have Donkey Dan Borman with 155,000 chips. He's one of our shorter stacks. He's won numerous Bahama tournaments. We have Mr. Robert Murphy in seat five from West Palm Beach. He's sitting on 200,000 chips. We have Andrew Rojas from also from Broward with 105,000 chips. He's our shortest stack. Seat seven, we have Jason Rosen from Royal Palm Beach with 230,000 chips. In seat eight, we have, uh, his name is Paul, but he goes by Mr. Skarm. He's sitting with one of our chip leaders, 485,000 chips. And in seat nine, we have um, Dean, uh, Dean, also one of our former main event champions. He is our big chip leader with 785,000. No, no, I think the guy in the 10 seat's got more. Really? Yeah, he's got oh, over a million. Oh, right. We didn't get to see 10 yet. Dean yeah. is our chip leader oh. with 785,000 chips. We're, 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 not, all in. we're not wasting any time getting yeah, an all-in here. We have some short stacks. Um, and uh, seat 10, Mike White from Uncle, oh, oh, a.k.a. Uncle Mick. He's from Bogies and Stogies from the Treasure Coast with 1.2 million chips. So this, this tournament's dominated by Treasure Coast and Broward right now as our chip leaders, but you never know. We have a couple of West Palm Beach players with short stacks that could make a run. Andrew very smartly gets away from the king queen there. Yeah, he could have been in a lot of trouble with. Oh that. yeah, especially with as short as he is, putting a quarter of his stack in the middle already before. Yeah, that's a really great. That's fold. a really good fold. Yeah. I saw some people earlier calling king queen and, and a lot, oh, yeah, right. with a lot bigger stacks. Mm -hmm. I, see, I don't, I don't know that anyone's going to be able to call here. I mean, maybe. I don't think so. Is Mike going to call Uncle with Ace? Mike, he's got so many he's chips. He's calling with Ace Five. All right, I like it. Yeah, Jimmy's only only for 200k, so it's 160 more. He figures he has a live ace. I, I'm not a big fan of ace rag. What do you feel about ace rag? I'm, I'm not either. I'm yeah. not a fan of. I mean, you, you, can't, be, you can't be ahead. Here. I, I look at it. I look at it from this standpoint. Even though he has 1.2 million chips in play, um, doubling up someone. Yes. He's now down to the 800 range, and he's right back in 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 the grasp of everybody else. So if you have that big of a lead, sometimes it's nice to just stay on that lead. Oh, but he hits Ooh. it. Wow. Oh my goodness. Flush draw. Flush, flush draw. draw. And he, fought, he hit two pair on the turn too. And we have we have our first uh, everything coming up Millhouse reference of the chat. Um, you, if you look over here, everything's coming up Millhouse. The Simpsons reference. I don't know if you understood that one. <laughs> I'm not a Simpsons guy. Are you not a Simpsons guy? Yeah, it's unbelievable. Oh, some come on. I missed some things. Well, thank you. No, I'm glad we sound great. Um, so we have another all in here. Yes, Robert, Robert Murphy. Solid play. It's a solid final table. A lot of new players at this final table, but they're playing solid. Mr. Mr. Scrum. Mr. Scrum. <laughs> Mr. Scrum's going to definitely call it. Oh, Scarm, Scarm. oh, he folded it. I thought he was calling. He, folded he started eight. stacking it like he was just going to try to barrel it in wow. there. Wow, he's a serious player. Right? That's, First that's, time I'm ever seeing him play. He actually plays right around the block from my house where this whole league started at JJ Muggs. But he's only been playing for four months. I haven't met him yet. Oh, Donkey Dan wasted Donkey no time. Donkey Dan wakes up with ace queen. And Snap pitch. This could be another knockout. Donkey Dan, solid player. He uses the name Donkey, but it's definitely not, not indicative of his. Pl oh Jeez. wow! All right. Oh wow! King or queen? Another, we're gonna see another bad beat. Oh! Oh, we got a lot of all ins here. I didn't see it. Uncle okay, Mike King called four. with King Four. Wow, Uncle Mike. He he's, just, he's gonna hit. He keeps getting rewarded though. How's he gonna fold? Yeah. He's gonna hit yep. a flush, I one mean, time. He, he, he got rewarded with the ace five. I can't blame him. You, know, you got to play that heater. To My only question out. is, it's does a double he, knockout too? It's a double knockout. Does he back. does he hit the four or does he hit the flush? That's the question. I'm going. But he might hit the wheel. Ooh, <laughs> you're going for the hard the hard get here. I'm just like, put the four of diamonds on the flop. Yeah, it's gonna be a four. All right. But I think Robert's gonna hit the eight too. Here's the flop. Four Sue. The jack Jack ten with two spades. Draw. Two wow, pair now. Ace high is good right here. And the flush. The flush. <laughs> Has turned his chip lead, I think, even larger um, since we've gone to final table. I think he's 
pretty much knocked every player out. It's not showing us the hand. Yeah, it's it, it, it'll it'll come up here in a minute. It's stuck sometimes. It's yeah, it's freezing up on us. No, I'm not gonna say that it's freezing up. But it's sometimes the the graphic reader just, just wake takes up a with second. Kings? He woke up with kings. Kings versus. Ace Jack Deuce. Turn card ten. Ooh, Jack Queen ten. Queen ten versus Kings. Uh, I don't know that Jason's out. Is he out? And he is out. No house beats it. Sometimes you gotta play those crazy hands to uh, to gain a an edge or an advantage or hit a hand crazy that can knock out some players. Yeah. I mean, when you're running good, and you can knock two players out for two hundred k. You, you, you can justify. You here's can. here's another one. Deaners raises to 160 with 10-8 of diamonds to get called by Ace Rag. We talked about this at the beginning of the stream that me and you are both are not in love with the Ace Rag. Um, but somehow he's still in the lead here. Yeah. Deaners, Deaners has only... I love Dean's move. This just shows that, I mean, Dean's a solid player. This is why he's won a main event. He took his position. So let me ask you, Carl. 10-4 of 10-4 offsuit here. There's 30,000 more to play, and basically everybody except for the other guy in the hand has less chips than you. Do you fold your your small blind knowing that you could get yourself in trouble? I, I like Dan, I'm really bad at folding my small blind. I just can't I'm, do it ever. I'm, I'm, no, I'm asking because I'm awful at it as well. I, I was just I've, asking if, if anyone could get away from it. I'm just, I'm, I've never with no With no mind. raise, knowing that you're going into heads up play, I, I can for some reason never fold. My small blind. It, now, it, now he's in trouble. Like we, like you said. Well, he trouble. does. He does have the straight draw. He's not it, for a chop. He's not drawing dead. Right. Any ten, any four wins in the hand outright. Any nine well, gets the chop. Oh my god! He, did he go all in? Yes. No. Oh, oh my! Right. Did he really? Oh, oh my god. god. So. If Mike, sick. if Mike calls here, Mike this is literally so going to be allowed sick. to steamroll this final table. I don't think he can. It's, he called. Oh my god. He called. Holy I can't geez. even believe it. Chip leader versus chip leader. He's I about to have he's about to have like it. three million in chips and everybody else is gonna have like five hundred K combined. I still think Dean's move was amazing because he's representing he's repping the straight and Mike, Absolutely. honestly, I'm I can't I mean Mikey either made one of the greatest calls I've seen, knowing he's repping a straight, or he's just just does you know, he's just gambling. I I, I think he just knows. Maybe. Jack Deuce versus ten four. I mean, I kind of agree with him. Though. He can't rep the straight when he goes all in. He actually maybe bet too much. And, and the Jacks it. are going to knock out. Dean was second in chips. But it's a great, I can't, I, it's a great play by Dean. On Twitch, at PBKC, on a to-be-determined show stream. I believe it'll be Saturday's game, which is Rose's game. Normally, Rose was preempted by this final table today. But we love Rose here uh, at the PBKC, and we love her game. So we're happy to have them back next week. Uh, we have Uncle Mike here, ace four off, but he's got about 77 billion chips uh, out of not so many in play. He makes it 200. Again, we're, we're, we're going to start applying pressure. Daniel gets it. Ooh, Daniel all in. Oh, we've got some playable hands Could this, could this be a another double knockout for Mike? Could Millhouse? Mike, again, got caught with his hand in a cookie jar, but Dan... Dan Rogers all in for less. Millhouse 200 can Millhouse could call here. See what I'm thinking about with, with, with Millhouse here is I think he knows that even with the King Jack being statistically not not a better hand than those ace rags, he does have cards that are more desirable. He understands that Mike could have anything, and Daniel's probably shipping with an ace, so he knows he's behind at least one, if not both yeah. of them. Well, no, Mike. Ra I mean, Mike raised. Mike has not raised all day, so you kind of. That's what I'm saying. You have to put him on something that probably beats your king high. Yeah. So even if it's ace king, or even if it's king queen, do you really oh. want to get it in? Well, it was only, it was only 100. Well, it was 200. 200 it's, it's tough call because doesn't have enough chips, but you know your king's probably live. And Mr. Scrum hits the queen on the river. That would have that would have been another hand for Uncle Mike if he doesn't hit the Queen on the river. Yep. Well, See, look, I I, I, I so really like. Here hand. comes Rusty. Let's see what happens here. Mike honestly hasn't really raised. He's only raised pre-flop once. He's gotten involved in a lot of hands, but he's only raised once. Let's see what he does here. Is he gonna play a tricky? 
He only raised it to 160. That's like a value bet. It's a min raise. It's a min raise, and there's no way Mill has his full in King 9. And again, I wonder, I have not seen him protect his hands pre flop to try to knock people out and just steal the blinds. Everybody misses. Let's see if he's going to fire at this. Diamonds, Todd Becker being a good player, he senses his weakness. He does, he does have a gutter. Champion. He does have a gutter ball. He can hit a seven for a straight. He has his nine. That could still give him the win as well as his king. Yeah, but he's been 140. It's a third of the. He's pot committed now. Well, I mean, you look at you look, bet size. You look at his chip stack. I, I don't know what other move he has. It, it seems like it's the 140 or it's going all in. I don't know that he has many more moves. It's all in, all in. It's in. Wow, it's so. This hand played out so odd. It did. I, I'm. I get. I get him trying to represent, maybe hitting a set on that board and being ahead of uh, of Uncle Mike, and Mike, for so. I don't, I wish I had the answer to it. I, yeah. I don't have the answer. I, I, I think Milhouse bet a third of a stack, thinking he'll bet he'll go all in on a turn and end the hand, and then it just so happened. And Mike just decided Mike. just to, to grip it and rip it. Change, and yeah, he just destroyed his strategy. <laughs> but Mike actually min raised that thing. I don't think he went all in. But it plays the same way. This is interesting. Let's see how this plays. That's still Mike, and that looks like Mike. Everything's coming up, Mike. 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 Up here. Uh, I mean, this is one of those where. Do you even bother looking at your hand if anyone raises, or do you just close your eyes and just hope it gets there? Hope you have two live cards. Yeah, I don't look here. And, and, I, and with bar poker, you don't have to show if you don't look either. So if it ends up, well, see, there would never be a three-way. See, Ricky Ricky agreed. Close your eyes. Just close your eyes and hope you, hope you have two live cards and hope you get there. 100%. That's a close your eyes situation. All right. So he has all in with Jack-10. Uncle Mike it. has pocket three. No, he looked. I he saw did. him look. Oh, yeah, I saw him look. Donkey Dan has ace eight of clubs. Uh, Uncle Mike has pocket threes. Now, let's see if Don Donkey Dan may not bet here because he's more of a check down guy. But let's see if he's checking. Uh, I think I think at this point, if I'm him, I check and let Mike Mike see if Mike this is the sword. He's doing. That's what I'm saying. This is this the sword? Is this the sword you're willing to get stabbed with? It's such it. it's such a crazy. Mike Dan Dan gonna go all in or just raise? Raise to six hundred. Dan and, oh, my God, Mike's going to call with his pocket game. threes. Wow. Oh, no. He got himself caught. Because the min raise, too, because he has outs. Oh, no. And Dan, again, playing excellent poker. The only mistake I saw Dan make is possibly folding his eights. But I think he felt he could pick a better spot. Oh, I mean, at that point, you could be behind with the eights. Only, you know, only against the seven. So Mr. Scrum just turned a straight. straight. Holy moly. Did that just happen? Donkey Dan has an oh. ace. Oh my God! All in. What is going on? Did they really go all in? Did they go all? Everybody's all in. Are you serious? Holy moly! How do you wow. put a three out on the river? Let's end this thing. Three. Was Donkey Dan short? Maybe. We, oh yeah, you know why? Because he put Dan he pot committed him. Yeah, that's he, why. He bet, he bet six hundred thousand on, yes, on the yes, turn. He pot committed him with the min. Or race. excuse me, on the flop. He, he only had two hundred fifty k yeah. behind. He pot on the committed nine. him on the yeah. Mr. I didn't Scrum. See how short he was. Mr. Scrum is going to win the main pot with the straight. Donkey Dan is going to win the outside with aces and queens with the king kicker. And now Uncle Mike is sitting in a really bad spot for the first time at this final table. Uh, way back at the other end of the ta uh, other end of the, the the room, and we're down here by the table in the production area. Mr. Scrum all in King Ten. Mike's gonna call with the A six offsuit. Um, again, it's uh, if Mr. Scrum doubles here, he's right back in this thing. Nine nine five, the six for Uncle Mike, and the, the ace and. That is all she wrote for Mr. Scrum. As he goes out in third place, and we are now down to heads up. We have Donkey Dan, Uncle Mike for the trophy. 
And I'm just like, all right, Everything cool. we say does the opposite. Exactly. Just, just when I said, you know, my, the only thing I haven't Mike seen do is is put out big feeler bets with he puts <laughs> air balling, and then he does a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back hands. And just and, and basically hands Donkey Dan almost two million in chips. Yeah. It worked out for him in that one hand with the 7 And then seven, the, second one, the second one turned out awful. Yeah. And he All ended right. up chopping that one hand, too. The one time it worked, mm -hmm. it was just a chop. Ace nine versus uh, we can't tell what Dan has. Dan, oh Jesus, Dan's got nines on a queen seven five board. Did Dan Honestly. wait? Dan bet a million. Dan bet a million with his pocket nines, and Mike calls with ace nine. Didn't think wow. about it. Didn't didn't nothing. Just yep. Here you go. It's heads up play. It's heads up play. So some people just. Twan, you're right. Here we go. I mean, we're, this we're, could be it. I mean, if he hits an ace, if he hits an ace on the river or the turn, it's over. Dan, Dan is sitting in a spot now where he's going to take an overwhelming chip lead if he does wow. not. Uh, is he going to ship it? He did. He shipped the last two fifty. Well, now he has to. So Mike can hit one of the four sixes. Or one this, of the three aces. This is, a sus, this is yeah, wow. Mike definitely. I don't, I don't know how you call a million there. I, 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 yeah, I didn't even realize we had already seen a flop. I thought that was pre-flop. No, I got, Dan, uh, Dan bets a million on the flop of queen seven five. Not even Mike doesn't even have two clubs. I can understand Mike falling in love with a flush draw here, yeah. but just he must have hoped that Dan had two clubs. But that's a yeah. He just had it. You know, Mike's been playing gut. You can tell he plays with his gut. Yeah, there, his there, gut yeah. was way off there. That's all. I mean, he's a gut player. He just, for some reason, he thought he thought Dan was bluffing. Yeah. He goes with his gut because there's no real consistent mathematical it's, it's, pattern to his game. It's funny. It's, it's, it's one of one of our regular tournament players, Tuan, is in the chat, and he literally just said, "Yeah, I don't know." He thought he was bluffing, maybe. Yeah, it's the only thing I could think yeah. of. So or now it's Mike. Flush draw. And of course, we do not get it. Dan now doubles up to almost. 1.9 million, and Mike is now on life support. Yeah. Mike went with his gut there. And you, know, you can really feel it, too, because he calls the million, but then on the river, when Dan continues for another 250, mm -hmm. he completely, like, doesn't... At that point, I think he realized he had made a mistake. 60K in 120, I believe is where we're at. Yeah, 6120. Dan with 10-7 of clubs. He calls. Let's see if Mike Mike tries to get the double again. He does not. He checks. We're going to go to a flop. He has 9-6. He's got your hand. Oh, look at this. This, this could be this board. All in a call. Absolutely. Yeah. I was going to say, that's another. Dan's, Dan's got the flush draw with, with middle pair. I don't. Yeah, there was no way he was ever folding that hand. All right. So. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, is that it? That's ball game. That's ball game. Wow, Mike hits what a the board. nine on the turn for two pair, and that's and a great way to Dan end the tournament. Dan crushes I mean. the ten of clubs on the or the the, the eight on the river for one. the straight. 